Hello, and welcome to another video for cat lovers. If you're a cat parent, then you most likely want to have a close relationship with your feline friend. To achieve this goal, it's important to avoid things that cats hate. It's worth noting that every cat is unique, so what one cat hates, another might not mind or even enjoy. However, there are some things that most cats generally dislike. If you enjoy learning about cats, be sure to subscribe to Possum Facts TV to see more cat videos. In this video, we'll cover 15 things that cats generally hate. Number 1. Change Oh boy, let me tell you about cats and change. These little furballs are creatures of habit, and they don't take kindly to anything that disrupts their routine. It could be something as minor as switching their litter tray, or something major like moving to a new home. But no matter what, your kitty is likely to throw a fit. Now, if you absolutely have to make changes that will affect your cat, you better be prepared to give them some serious TLC. Like, we're talking full-on cuddles and head scratches. You might be surprised at how much that can ease their stress and help them adjust to changing environments. And let's be real, who doesn't love a good snuggle with their favorite feline friends? Number 2. Loud noises. Cats are known for their sensitivity to sounds and their ability to pick up on even the slightest noise. Loud and sudden noises can startle and stress them out causing them to feel anxious and on edge. This is why dropping something or playing music too loudly can trigger a negative reaction from your feline friend. As a cat parent, it's important to be mindful of the noise level in your home and make adjustments to ensure your cat feels comfortable and relaxed. If you notice your cat hiding or acting skittish, it may be a sign that they are feeling overwhelmed by the noise. By being aware of your cat's sensitivity to sound, you can create a peaceful and stress-free environment for both you and your furry companion. Number three, competition. Did you know that cats are actually pretty competitive creatures? That's right. If they see another feline invading their territory, they might not be too happy about it. This could lead to some pretty aggressive behavior, and no one wants that. So if you're thinking about adding another kitty to your home, be sure to give your current cat some time to adjust to the new fur baby. Keep them separated for a while until they get used to each other's presence. And if your cat has a nemesis in the neighborhood, make sure to keep an eye on things and break up any cat fights before they get out of hand. Trust me, you don't want to end up with a fur ball of claws and hissing. Number four, low temperatures. Cats like to be warm and cozy. They're not huge fans of the cold weather, even though they may have a fluffy coat to keep them warm. In fact, their fur is more for protection against their delicate skin than insulation from the cold. So if you want to keep your furry little prince or princess happy, crank up the heating and make sure they're nice and toasty. Number five, smells. Cats have a sensitivity to smells, but there are certain scents they dislike that may surprise you. They have an aversion to citrus, as well as rosemary, thyme, banana, mustard, lavender, eucalyptus, and strong methanol smells. Essential oils can be toxic to cats, so they will instinctively avoid them. It's important to be aware of these scents to ensure the comfort and safety of your feline friends. Number six, medicine. If you're a cat parent, you know the struggle of giving your feline baby medicine. Whether it's liquid or pills, it's no easy feat to get your kitty to take it. Cats just don't get why they need it, and being forced to take it can be pretty daunting. But it's important to help them stay healthy, even if it means getting a few scratches in the process. Wrapping your cat in a towel and gently holding their mouth closed can help them swallow their medicine. Number seven, spoiled food. Have you ever noticed that your cat turns up their nose at spoiled food? Yeah, that's because they have a super sensitive sense of smell and can detect even the slightest hint of something funky. So if you want to avoid disappointing your feline friend, it's important to keep an eye on their food. Wet food can spoil faster than dry food, especially in warmer weather. If your cat is a grazer, you might want to switch to dry food. And remember, if your cat's wet food has been sitting out for too long, it might be not too appetizing for them. Number eight. Tummy rubs. Cats are quite different from dogs in many ways, including their preference for belly rubs. While pups often love a good tummy rub, felines generally hate it. That's because instinctively, cats know that their belly is a vulnerable spot and they want to protect it. So if you want to try to give your cat an unexpected belly rub, 
be prepared for some serious claw action. To avoid a painful scratch, it's best to stick to the safe zones under their chin and behind their ears. Trust us, your cat will thank you for it. Number nine, baths. Trying to bathe a cat? Our condolences. There's no way around it. Cats despise baths and or resist you at every turn. While they groom themselves and stay clean, sometimes a bath is necessary, especially if they rolled around in something gross. If you're brave enough to attempt a bath, make sure to have plenty of clean towels, pet shampoo, and conditioner on hand. Use a gentle stream of water from the shower head as cats are used to being rained on and may find this less stressful than a traditional bath. Speak soothingly to your cat and apply the shampoo gently but confidently. With luck, you might make it out unscathed. Number 10, too much attention. If you have a fur baby who happens to be a cat, you'll know that they're independent beings. They're not fond of being overly petted and prefer to have their own space. It's important to respect your cat's boundaries and not push them to spend time with you if they're not in the mood for it. Just give them their space and they'll come to you when they need some love and attention. Number 11, not enough attention. We know, we know, cats are confusing. One minute, they seem to hate you, and the next, they want all of your attention. While cats like to have their own space, they do enjoy affection from their owners, on their own terms. Your cat will brush up against your legs when he or she wants to be petted, so make sure you respond to their cues for affection. Even though cats like to be independent, it doesn't mean that they want to be alone all the time. If you want to go out for an extended period of time, make sure you have a friend or family member pop around in your absence so that your cat doesn't feel too lonely. Number 12, being groomed. Cats can be like kids when it comes to brushing their fur. They're not always a fan of it. However, some long-haired breeds need a bit of help to keep their coats looking their best. To make the experience less stressful, try to brush your cat when they're feeling calm and in the mood for some love. Start by giving them a gentle pet, then gradually introduce the brush. If your cat starts to get agitated, take a break and resume the brushing once they're relaxed again. Number 13, strangers. When it comes to unfamiliar faces, cats can be a bit cautious. If a stranger comes into your home, which, as far as your cat is concerned, is their territory, they may feel scared or uneasy. It's important to let your guests know about your furry friend's behavior and discourage them from trying to pet your cat right away. Giving your cat some space can help them feel more comfortable and let them approach your guests on their own terms, if they're feeling sociable. Number 14, being stared at. Have you ever had a staring competition with your cat? Chances are it didn't go so well. Cats perceive prolonged eye contact as a sign of aggression and dominance, which can make them feel threatened. So next time you're bored and looking for something to do, it might be best to avoid a staring contest with your feline friends. Number 15, being cradled like a baby. Although you might consider your cat as your baby, holding them like a human infant can be uncomfortable for them. It restricts their movement and may cause stress. It's best to allow your cat to approach you for cuddles and provide them with an escape route if they want to leave. Remember, cats appreciate their freedom and space. And there you have it. We hope you found the video about 15 things cats hate, both informative and entertaining. Cats are unique creatures with their own personalities and preferences. It's important to understand their likes and dislikes in order to provide the best possible care for them. Remember, even though your cat may sometimes exhibit behaviors that seem frustrating or confusing, they are just being true to their nature. By respecting their boundaries and needs, you can build a strong bond with your feline friend. So if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel for more pet-related content in the future. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.